Hello! Um, so, today, meron akong gustong i-share na sobrang, sobrang excited ako about kasi um, this is something na I've been struggling about for the past few years. And finally, may nahanap na akong solusyon. At I know personally, madami akong mga kaibigan na um, going through the same experience as well. So, sana makatulong ito. Um, pero syempre, this is going to be about your health. Kaya I recommend na you should check with your dietitian then and your um, doctor para makakuha ng mas personalized na um, advice for you, for your body. Because we all have different um, needs depending on our bodies. Um, pero sa akin, this is what worked so far. So, baka merong kayong mga maku makuhang tips or baka ilan sa mga ginagamit ko ay gusto ninyong itry. So, parang review na rin ito siya sa inyo. So, a little bit of a background. Um, I was diagnosed with PCOS, I think about 9-8 um, years ago. And then, since, since I was diagnosed with PCOS, naka birth control pills ako every single time. Never akong... Um, umalis sa birth control pill. So, that's been about um, many, many years. I can't even count. Um, pero, last year, I decided to stop using birth control pills kasi na madami na akong na-experience na um, medyo weird. Parang nagiging very dependent na ako dun sa pills. Um, and it's causing me a lot of headache. Sobrang intense ng cramps ko every month during my period ako. And I finally wanted to do something na um, more natural, kumbaga. But um, whenever I try na umalis sa pills or wag gumamit ng pills, wala akong regular menstruation na dumadating. At, as in, the longest um, that I've tried was siguro umabot siya ng 6 months. Wala pa rin nangyaring um, any menstruation, walang cycle, kumbaga. Um, so, I've consulted with my ob we we ran some tests and all, of course, and um, I've been off pills siguro since September last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, medyo matagal-tagal na rin akong um, hindi nagpipills and wala pa akong mens since then. Um, so now, my goal is hopefully makakuha ng regular cycle despite being not on any birth control pills. So, um, huh, I needed to check with my ob and also my dietitian for me to have um, some advice on how I can um, achieve this specific goal that I have. And um, I've been actually doing this for exactly one month. Yeah, exactly one month from today. Um, pero I was worried, hindi, hindi ko sure kung gusto ko siyang i-film um, before kasi baka hesitant ako na baka walang maging result, madidisappoint lang ako when I look back at it. Pero effective siya kasi nagkaroon na ako ng cycle for the very first time even without um, birth control pills. So hopefully magtuloy-tuloy na siya. So, I did a lot of things. Um, I went to check with my um, doctors nga. And, ang pinaka-major na gagawin as changes. Kasi, ayoko din ng drastic change um, sa lifestyle ko. Kasi, never pa akong naging under any diet or any strict medication, kumbaga. So, we did it very slowly. Meron akong diet um, plan, diet protocol, na in-advise sa akin ng dietitian ko. I'm sorry, it's in French. Pero I will try my best to explain each of them um, to you guys. And on top of that, um, I'm taking like a bunch of um, medicines. Oh. <laughs> Pero ano sila? Um, they're all like supplements lang naman. Hindi talaga sila like medicines and stuff. I will walk you through each of them um, later on. Um, and for starters, um, a month ago, I weigh about 63.5. And as per my dietitian, nasa normal range pa naman ako. So, hindi pa ako overweight, kumbaga. I'm in the normal range, pero very borderline to becoming overweight na. Kasi I did gain a lot of weight then since I got off pills. I always do gain weight whenever I try to get off pills. Um, so, that was kind of expected. 
and um, for her it's going to um, also help me reduce some some extra weight even though I don't really need it the kind of diet plan and yung mga medications na tinitake ko will eventually or should eventually um, start showing results on losing weight as well pero um, I can't lose too much weight then kasi bababa na ako sa normal range magiging underweight ako um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First, um, yung aking dietary protocol is right here. So basically, ang main, um, main goal ng aking dietary restriction is bawasan ang carbohydrates, carbs, bawasan ang sugar intake, and um, high protein. Yun yung sinadyas sa akin ng doctor ko. Bale, basically, yung aking hormonal imbalance ay, um, hindi ko alam yung mga technical or scientific term, pero medyo nag struggle yung katawan kong i-absorb yung mga sugar levels na ini-intake ko. And that's the reason why um, nag-gain ako ng weight. I'm having break, um, ang tawag dito? Breakouts. Um, so yeah, all of the side effects of PCOS. Kaya kailangan kong bawasan yung sugar intake, yung carbohydrates as well. Can, um, needs to be cut down. Um, and that's such a struggle for me because I love sweets. I mean, you can see from my channel, I've been baking lately because this is something I really enjoy now since about a year. Um, so it's, it's going to be a struggle for me. Kaya, um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad naman from my doctor, ang gagawin niya din sa akin, like I said, is not drastic change. Magiging gradual, um, adaptation siya. So, hindi niya fully tinanggal yung sugar intake. Actually, allowed pa rin ako mag-dessert from time to time and all that stuff um, based on my dietary restrictions. Pero, may mga detours which I will show you then later on. Um, and then, it's also a struggle to lose carbohydrates for me because I love rice. I'm from the Philippines. Alam nyo yan. <laughs> uh, mga uh, Filipinos, Asian generally, I guess, they we, we love rice. We pretty much eat rice. Um, in all of our meals, even on our desserts and snacks, um, may rice talaga. So, medyo struggle din yun siya sa akin. Kasi, maybe it's just mental, pero I feel like um, nagiging weak ako if it's been like how many meals na hindi pa ako nakakakain ng rice. <laughs> um, kahit magpasta or mashed potato or any other alternatives, hindi siya the same <laughs> for me kung hindi siya rice. So, she also took that into consideration and still allowed me to be able to um, have a good um, intake of rice, pero um, just lesser quantity this time. So, for breakfast, um, basically, ang idea na binigay niya sa akin is I can actually have rice or bread or anything na, um, how do you say, fikinong. Basta, those, those family. Nakalimutan ko siya in English. Um, so, rice, egg. Um, egg is also very important, she said, because it's um, it provides a lot of protein for your body. So, um, an egg during breakfast is also good. And um, I'm allowed to have some hot chocolate because I love hot drinks, especially during winter time here in France. Because hindi ako sa nice sa lamig, di ba? Um, so kailangan ko may intake na hot drinks. So hot chocolate is allowed, pero I would need to um, not have any sweetener in it. Or if I really have to, then I can put stevia. I'm using stevia at the moment. Then hindi ko na i-detail out yung the rest of the day pero ang important takeaway sa akin dito sa dietary um dietary plan ko is dapat daw eto meron siyang greenowing actually dito. Dapat ganito yung portioning ng plates ko for both lunch and dinner. So yung yung part na to actually is your feculon so that's your rice or your pasta oh. ang dubi ng nails ko. Sorry. <laughs> Ayan. Um and then viand right here would be your meat. And then legume would be your vegetables. So you need to have um, yung amount ng inyong rice and um, meat should be the same amount as your vegetables. So I need lots and lots of vegetables. Yun yung um, in advice sa akin din ng doctor ko. So that's what I'm gonna take for lunch and dinner. Um, preferably for meat, try to stay away from beef as much as possible. Um, better white meat are better. Sabi niya, so that would be chicken or turkey or um, kung kakain man ako ng pork, kailangan yung filet minyo. Um, so those are some examples. And then for beef, if I really need to eat beef, 
Um, it has to be bavette in French. I would look it up in English. Um, and then, kapag. Ito yung maganda sa dietary plan ko, I guess. Meron siyang, uh, well, may specific siyang mga sizing, like grams. How much rice should I be having and stuff like that. So, nandyan yung limit. Um, pero, whenever there's a day na, kumbaga, naka... Um, umalis ako sa protocol or hindi ko sinunod yung protocol because siguro instead of um, one slice of cake, nakadalawang slice of cake ako. Very, very possible na mangyari. Or siguro um, na-excite ako dun sa, sa ulam so medyo dumami yung quantity, yung portion niya, ganyan. Um, that's okay. Ang advice niya is don't stress out if those things happen kasi you have your cravings and that's natural. You're always gonna have that and you need to satisfy that or else you're gonna be stressed out and you're not gonna be mentally healthy anymore. So, kapag nangyari yung mga yon, go for it. Still do it, sabi niya. And what I can do to make up for it is the following day, magsusup lang ako for dinner. So, medyo nakakalungkot siyang isipin. Pero, when I've tried doing it, it's actually really nice. Kasi parang medyo nabaliktad yung mentality ko. Sometimes, um, kunwari, uh, may masarap na pagkain, may masarap na niluto si, si husband. And then, syempre, I was like, oh, I, maybe magdadalawang plate ako ng, ng food for, for today. Ang may isip ko, kapag dinamihan ko yung kain ko today, bukas magsusupo oh. ako. <laughs> So, parang ayaw ko siyang, naging punishment siya for me na ayaw kong gawin even though it's supposed to be a detour or um, parang to make up with what you what you did the day before. Naging punishment siya sa mindset ko. So, parang ayaw ko na. Hindi, hindi ko siya gagawin kasi I don't wanna just eat soup the following day. Um, so, yeah, it depends sa'yo. Pero ganun yung naging mentality ko. And it really helped a lot um, to lessen the quantity. So, yun siya. And then, on, on top of this dietary plan na in advice sa akin, I am also taking some some vitamins and medicines. So, the first thing I'd like to share with you is maca. Maca powder. So, right here. Um, so, it's a, it's a powder that is available in the supermarket, at least here in France. And what I do with this is um, I need to have about one tablespoon of the powder per day. <laughs> Actually, hindi siya, um, ano man lasa niya, medyo mapait siya pero hindi extreme, especially kung one tablespoon lang, hindi mo siya matitikman. So, what I like to do is, madalas hinahalo ko siya sa, um, sa hot chocolate, sa hot beverages na inuwin ko, or smoothie, if I make some smoothie, hinahalo ko siya, or kapag soup, or any, um, what they call this, any liquid based na dishes, dinadagdag ko siya. So, you could barely taste it, so talagang, I, I really like it kasi you have all the nutrients that you would need from it. At the same time, hindi siya hassle um, idagdag sa diet mo. Um, and I also take a lot of cinnamon. I mean, I don't just like, hindi ko siya pinapapak lang. <laughs> Pero ang sabi kasi ng doctor ko, cinnamon also helps you um, help your body regulate sugar or yung, yung sugar intake mo is ma mariregulate ng body mo if you have some cinnamon in your system. So, same thing, ang, since masarap naman ang cinnamon, ano, I really like adding it to halos lahat ng drinks na, na ginagawa ko. So, I like, I like, um, like I said, drinking hot beverages, that's um, hot chocolate or maybe some tea, some herbal tea. Um, I would always add some cinnamon, uh, a small teaspoon of cinnamon with it. Sometimes, um, sa shake, of course, I add cinnamon then, sa mga pancakes, like that. So, cinnamon, about one teaspoon per day, or even more. Sometimes, I can, I can do more very easily, actually, kasi kung, kunwari, pag sobrang lamig, makaka dalawang cups ako ng herbal tea, then I already have, like, two tablespoons of cinnamon with it, so it's nice. Um, and then speaking of hot beverages and smoothies and stuff, I use stevia for any sugar kasi I like things that are sweet or food that are sweet, drinks that are sweet. So, kailangan ko pa rin ng sweetener in, in any case. So, I use stevia right here and yeah so this is a, a french brand it's daddy ang weird daddy <laughs> um, but yeah it's a legitimate brand here in france so i use stevia 
um, which is a very good alternative to your sugar. So I, I use this for my hot drinks, for my smoothies, um, for some desserts then whenever I make desserts. And yeah, this is also why it's nice that I'm making my own desserts somehow because for sure, hindi ko mawawala, matatanggal yung dessert sa system ko. Pero at least when I make my own dessert, na ko control ko yung sugar amount ng aking desserts. And a lot of times yung mga recipes na nakikita ko, I literally slash the sugar um, requirement into half. Pero yung taste is super, super good pa rin. So, I highly recommend then if you're making your own desserts like cupcakes, cakes, and stuff like that, um, whatever the recipe calls for in terms of sugar, kalahatiin mo lang yan, it will still taste really, really, really good. At the same time, hindi siya very sweet. Hindi siya very um, packed ng sugar. And um, I'm also taking inositol. Um, so I have this one right here, Ooh, inositol. So this one, as you can see, is very specific for PCOS. It's actually German. I just got it from Amazon because they don't have it here in France. Um, so I'm taking inositol. Um, I will put the link on the description below if you want. But it's, I think this is like the main, um, the main driver of my mens being regulated again because this is really specifically for that purpose so i cannot live without it anymore i think um and it doesn't have side effects for me so far um nothing that i've i've experienced for a month of using this now so i'm taking this and at the same time i'm using some i'm, I'm taking some berberine um normally berberine would be um would be taken Ano, ano man dito? Ginagamit siya ng mga diabetic. Kasi it's to control your glycemic or sabi niya dito, to maintain a normal glycemic. Glycemic. I don't know how you say it. Um, so, I'm taking berberin capsules as well. And what's nice about this berberin is look, may cinnamon din siyang kahalo. So, more cinnamon in the system. Um, and on top of that, I take zinc, um, vitamin zinc. For also, what is this supposed to do again? I think this, oh, yes, uh, this one is more for helping my breakouts because, like I said, kanina, kapag nag, nawala ako sa pills and nag stop mag regulate yung men's ko, I start having so many pimples as in madami. I mean, you can still see a lot of marks. <laughs> Hindi na sila ganong mawawala, unfortunately. Um, so, andyan sila. Pero, since I've taken this, hindi na siya sobrang extreme. So, I'm hoping it gets better in time pa. So, zinc. And I think it's quite nice kasi ngayong binabasa ko siya. Sabi niya dito, it also helps... Um, helps you achieve like pretty good skin yung inyong nails would have um very good texture then except kung hindi ka hindi ka naglilinis at madami yung nails mo like mine and for your hair it's also healthy for your hair so vitamin zinc also um and um another one that i'm taking is just a uh, weeder or wider i don't know how you would say that weeder a wider fat burner and um i like it because it has cinnamon again and it also has l-carnitine and cayenne and some green tea extract and these are all um very important to lose fats or at least burn fats kumbaga um and I I don't I don't think it really helps you lose weight, pero what I noticed it's done for me is um medyo kino control niya yung appetite ko. So I take this usually before meal, 30 minutes before meal, and I don't get like too much cravings for that. Um, another problem of mine actually is snacking. So especially between lunch and dinner, I like to find the snack between um, lunch and dinner. So since I've been taking this um, around lunchtime, I notice hindi na ako masyadong nagkikrave ng snacks between lunch and dinner. Um, if I do, minsan parang a couple of grapes or strawberries will do. Mga fruits lang ganyan, satisfied na ulit ako. So, that's what I'm taking. So, yes, ang dami niya, sis. <laughs> dami, dami. As opposed to just one birth control pill, di ba? Pero, all of this um, are actually there to encourage your body to um, balance those hormones na naging imbalance because of your PCOS, just like for me. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing for a month now. 
and I am very proud to say that I lost one kilo. I'm so happy. Ang goal namin with my dietitian is to just lose maximum of three kilos actually, and then that's it. I cannot lose any more after the the three kilos that I will lose. So I'm I'm 63.5. I was 63.5 last month. I am now at 62.5, um, and. I cannot go below 60 according to my dietitian um, because that won't be too healthy anymore. So yeah, I mean, um, it. I've been very happy with how my body is working lately. Um, it's still a bit stressful to kind of control the meals. It's, I, I, it, I've only been doing it for one month, so medyo stress pa rin ako from time to time ganyan. Pero um, it feels nice when you see results. Um, so hopefully nakatulong to siya sa inyo. I will um, send, I will include the link of the products that I have um, down below para you can get an idea then. Um, and I actually have my next appointment with my dietitian coming up next week. So we will see kung may kailangan bang i-change. I'm sure um, medyo i-strictuhan niya pa ako dun sa aking dietary restrictions para ma-achieve namin yung 60 um, but yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Pero I'm very happy to note na in just one month, I've already seen results dun sa actual goal na gusto kong mangyari, which is to have a regular cycle. Um, so hopefully, in the next coming months, magtuloy-tuloy na siya. And so yeah, wish me luck. Thank you for watching this video once again. Sana po nakatulong ito sa inyo. And next time!